if you haven't tried this method you gotta try it because it's gonna give you glowy clear skin no more acne no more pimples and it'll help to fade any post inflammation acne scar hello everybody this is Gladys welcome back to my channel I am very excited today because I'm going to share with you how to get a clear glowy skin by oil cleansing okay I'm getting all ready had my hair tied up so let's get started there are different ways of oil cleansing there are different people using different methods of oil cleansing some says do A, some says do B some even says that massage your face with cleansing oil for 15 minutes yes, it's 15 minutes I'm gonna link to that video in the description box down below with all due respect I'm not saying all those methods doesn't really work for your skin but this method that I'm going to share with you is something that I had been using for the past two years pretty much right after I was I had my rosacea and the main reason behind when I had rosacea or now I have rosacea prone skin my skin is very sensitive I needed something to be able to remove my makeup i.e. my sunscreen I don't normally wear any makeup um, my sunscreen off and also being able to clean all the oil that get produced all the dirt that get produced during the day I have oily skin so double cleansing is very critical very very critical in my skincare routine without a cleansed face I don't think I can go to bed and cleaning your face is one of the fundamental things that you should do apart from sunscreen okay that you need to put that into your skincare routine okay enough of my mumbling I know you can't wait okay I'm gonna start uh, so in this particular video I'm gonna use this DHC cleansing oil there are a lot of different cleansing balm in the market that you can use um, but best find something that is fragrance free so fragrance is something that just a lot of dermatologists says no to because it can potentially irritate your skin down the road I'm not saying it will irritate your skin right now even your skin might not be having any kind of reaction to any kind of fragrance in the product that you use but what I'm saying is it's just over time your skin there is a potential risk of your skin reacting to any kind of fragrance so to avoid all that just use something fragrance free there are a lot of options in the market okay let's get back to oil cleansing I'm sorry I'm sidetracking uh where was I ah! <laughs> So you will be rubbing your face with this oil not for 15 minutes uh, but for 30 seconds 30 seconds 30 seconds so I'm gonna demonstrate this step by step so you can follow me so you get two to three pumps of your cleansing oil and if you don't think that's enough you can add more uh, later on as well so so we're going to massage it on your face for 30 seconds So make sure you get to every corner of your face where you have your sunscreen or makeup nice 30 second and then you get one more pump for blackheads and then you massage it for another 30 seconds so don't forget the sides of your hairline Once you're done, it's 30 seconds now, and then you get some water. You emulsify on your face for another 30 seconds. So 
So you start to see the oil, the cleansing oil is emulsifying. That's one of the reasons why I don't recommend using just using some olive oil from your kitchen counter because uh, the formulation itself doesn't really um, take into account of this emulsify, emulsify, emulsification. So once you're done, what you're going to do now, um, you can choose to wash your face now to rinse your face um, or, and then go to your second step of your cleansing. Or in my case, uh, because I have sensitive skin, I want to minimize um, the time of my skin getting uh, washed by water. Because any uh, washing of water would just um, increase any trans epidermal water loss. So uh, what I would do immediately um, is to use a cleanser. Here I'm using a very gentle uh, cleanser for my face has a little bit of uh, salicylic acid that could help to minimize um, any blackhead formation and uh, if you have sensitive skin you can go for something that has that is more gentle and then well I don't have enough water here but you can create with this cleanser we focus on area where you have more oil production like your t-stone area and then massage for another 30 seconds okay so now I'm gonna rinse my face 2,000 years later. So I'm back. I've cleansed my face. Um, so I'm gonna give you again a summary of the steps. So number one, you, when you start your oil cleansing, get two to three pumps of cleansing oil on your palm and massage it all, all over your face for 30 seconds. And once you're done, you get one more pump of the cleansing oil to focus on your blackheads area. If you have dry skin or you don't have any issue of blackheads, you can skip this step. And next one, once you massage it, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then you go ahead and get water to wet your palm and emulsify it on your face for another 30 seconds. Once you're done, you can use the second step of double cleansing and you can use a creamy formula, gentle cleanser or in my case, I'm using a cleanser that has salicylic acid in it so that it can help to uh, get rid of the blackheads on my face and then I cleanse it. That is a total of uh, two minutes. Share with me uh, what other cleansing oil that you find useful and you love it so much as well because I wanted to know what other products you also love. If you find this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell to support me to make more videos like this. I will see you in my next one. Bye!